Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to another little Animal Crossing New Horizons tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect tarantula island. For those who don't know, one of the Nook Miles islands that you have a random chance of getting is absolutely full of tarantulas and if you can catch them they sell for 8,000 bells at Nook's Cranny. Or if Flix is around on your island, she'll buy them for 12,000 so they're well worth catching. Now of course these islands are random but you can actually make them spawn if you know what you're doing. So that's how I'm going to show you today. We're going to make our own look and create a tarantula island. Before we get started we live stream Animal Crossing every single day here on Geekism at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We would love to have you there for a chat so if you're not already consider subscribing. First of all the tools you'll need are very limited and you want to take as little as possible with you here because you really want to fill your bags up with these tarantulas. You're going to need a ladder and a pole vault just to get around the island. You're going to need a net obviously to catch the tarantulas. You're going to need a shovel, a good axe, not a flimsy or a stone one, a proper axe. You're going to need a nook miles ticket to get you to the island and I always think it's a good idea to take some fruit just in case there's no fruit there you are going to need some energy to get rid of the stones after that just head into speak to Orville let yourself go uh, to a flying island with a Nux Miles ticket and hopefully you'll get something you can use whilst recording this video actually the first couple of Nook Miles islands I went to weren't really suitable they were great islands one of them was the money stone island which is just full of rocks that produce money and and one of them was the Bamboo Island, which again is really great because it's one of the only places you can get bamboo from. Neither really worked very well for this. So third time's a charm on this one, actually, to get a suitable island. You want to have a big, wide island, lots of green space, and as little variation in height as possible as well really helps. And ideally, no rivers as well. Really great. Well, something like the, uh, the Pondfish Island would be really great for this one. But whatever you get, we can kind of make it work. Once you're there, just check it's going to be suitable. Here we've actually got the uh, rare fruit island. We did really good for islands tonight. Um, but the first thing you want to do is pick up every single weed that's on the map and every single flower. You don't have to dig up the flowers, just take the bulbs. The idea behind this is you want to remove all the spawn possibilities for all the different bugs so that only tarantulas are able to spawn. So removing the flowers is going to get rid of some of the uh, some of the things like stink bugs and man face stink bugs uh, that are going to turn up on them. After that you're going to go around and shake every tree and cut down every tree. This is why you need the decent axe because the flimsy and the stone axe won't cut the tree down. It'll just take some wood out of it. You need them cut down because you need them to be a stump that you can then dig up because again trees have spawn places for things like wasps and bagworms and stumps have spawn spaces for things like stumpy insects. I can't remember what they're called. Sorry? Citrus beetles my wife told me. Thank you. So here's where you need your fruit. Now obviously there's a chance that there is fruit on the island already, but there's no harm in taking some of your native fruit with you. Eat one of these pieces of fruit for every stone or rock that is on the island, and then use your shovel on the rock and it'll make it go away. Again, rocks can spawn things like caterpillars, pill bugs, snails sat on top of them if it's raining. Uh, also, if it is raining by the way, this is even better because there's less chances of uh, different things spawning, but tarantulas will still spawn. Either way, go around, get rid of all the rocks, all the tree stumps. The next thing you you want to do is a bit of a time consuming one you're going to want to dig up holes all over any space that isn't the ground floor this is going to make it so that nothing can spawn here you haven't got to worry about the plants you can dig around the plants but nothing's going to be able to spawn on this cliff area here and it just means it's going to stop you having to get up there with the ladder every few minutes when something spawns up there um, so i think this is well worth doing even though it does take a little bit of time you know it takes it's like a five ten minute job to do this it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of effort running back and forth up this cliff uh, i actually do a little bit of this back portion here as well the other side of the river again if you wanted to you could do all of the other side of the river uh, but here for me just this cliff is uh, is enough and finally once you've cleared all of that out you've picked up all the weeds you picked up all the flowers you've cut down all the trees don't worry about stuff on the beach the the plants on the beach are fine uh, sh uh the uh, shells and all that is fine then you're going to take everything you've just picked up all the flowers everything and you're going to dump them on the beach it's very difficult to do this because some of that stuff you're going to be thinking oh this could be quite useful but no you need that inventory free for the tarantulas next up you're going to go and find a nice big space on the island like i say this is a really good island for this one overall there's a little bit of cliff space but overall this is pretty good you're going to take out your shovel and you're going to create a kind of 
letter H, I guess, a capital letter H. It'll be two strips of holes with a space in between them. And then halfway down the strip, you're going to put one more hole in the middle there. So you've got two sort of grass spaces that come into the space and get blocked off. Now you have to do a full space. You can't leave a diagonal like that because tarantulas can jump over that diagonal. So make sure you've got two full strips here with that one hole in the middle. What this is going to give you is basically a trap. Uh, when you aggravate a tarantula, you're going to run into this trap and the tarantula is going to get caught around the outside uh, because of all those holes. Occasionally, a tarantula will follow you into the strip and then all you have to do then is push so that you jump over that hole. The tarantula won't be able to and it'll be a dead end. Once you've done that, it's just a case of running around the island and waiting for the tarantulas to spawn. Now, we haven't completely got rid of all the other spawn points for other uh, bugs. So you're going to get things like tiger beetles still turn up. You're going to get the, um, oh, what's the ones on the rocks? The wharf, the wharf roaches, they're going to turn up. So every time you see one of those, tiger beetles, wharf roaches, or maybe there could be a couple of other things at the moment. I think that's it. Um, you're just going to scare them off. Just run through them so they run away. Um, and eventually you'll start to see the tarantulas spawn. Uh, you can get mole crickets as well in the ground. I normally ignore those. It doesn't seem to affect it too much. Probably is lowering the tarantula spawn a little, but I mean, there's a tarantula turning up every sort of minute or so. So here, all you got to do is run around, run right to the edges of the island, give plenty of space off screen for the tarantulas to spawn in. You'll see there we uh, hid some uh, wharf roaches. And, um, and like you say, for the most part, look, the tarantulas will just get caught up on those uh, on the, the holes there and you've, you can just sit and swipe them none of this creeping over to them and then we get look get rid of some of the uh, tiger roaches there and we'd run around and there I jumped over look I didn't have to but I just automatically jumped over but that's how you're going to get away from them if they follow you in I think I've got one more to show you here it does actually follow me and there you go and just push forward and he gets caught in that gap that was actually the last one uh, so you'll see here we've got a completely full inventory now if you want to really push this you can dump at this point you can dump the shovel you can dump the, uh, the the pole vault, the ladder, all you need is that net and you're not going to be able to get rid of that net. Uh, me personally, I don't want to have to sit and craft that stuff when I get back. So that is enough for me. Last thing we've got to do is head back to Nook's Cranny and sell what we've got. Again, if you're not desperate for the money and you can sit on these tarantulas for a week or two, perhaps go and store them somewhere. And when Flix turns up, she will pay you a 50% uh, increase on this. So you're not going to get 8,000 per tarantula. You're going to get 12,000. So it is worth thinking about. Uh, but you'll see here that even keeping a few of the tools, even just selling them to Nook's Cranny and not waiting for Flix, we're making 280 grand. This video took me an hour and 10 minutes to film that's including getting to the island clearing the island out coming back and selling all of these in nooks cranny so you're probably talking about 45 minutes worth of actual catching time nets you 280 grand i genuinely don't think there is a better bells to time ratio in the game at the moment for making money it does get a little tedious it does get a little bit boring but if you genuinely just need to get those debts paid this is the way to do it it isn't always perfect, as you can see from this live stream earlier today. Whereas you could be fishing for an hour and not catch a sealer count. You know, that's why these tranches, even though they're not the highest money in the game. Even sorry, just got me. Sorry, everyone, for shouting. <laughs> He was following me. I'm not going anywhere near. I'm not going anywhere near. I'm not going anywhere near it. You're a get frigged. Sorry. <laughs> But overall, it's a pretty good way of making money. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like on this video. Let me know in the comments your favorite bell money making techniques. And I'll see you in the next one. Be good. 